Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also assign cost resources to tasks within your project file. Like material resources, when you assign cost resources it has no effect on task scheduling or task duration. You assign cost resources to tasks to show costs incurred to complete the tasks. This lets you better track indirect project costs like client entertainment or business travel, for example. When assigning a cost resource to a task, you enter a fixed dollar amount to assign to the task. This amount assigned to the task will not change unless you manually edit it later. The most reliable way to assign cost resources is by using the Assign Resources dialog box. By default, you cannot see the cost column within the task form at the bottom of the Gantt chart view when the window is split, so you cannot easily use it to make the necessary cost entry. To use the Assign Resources dialog box to assign cost resources, select the task in the Gantt chart view to which you want to assign cost resources. Then either click the Assign Resources button in the Assignments button group on the Resource tab in the ribbon, or press the Alt plus F10 keys on your keyboard. Enter the amount to allocate to the selected cost resource into the Cost column in the Assign Resources dialog box. When finished entering the amount, exit the cell to automatically assign the cost resource. Alternatively, you can click the Assign button to manually assign the resource without leaving the cell. When you are finished assigning costs, Click the Close button in the Assign Resources dialog box to close the dialog box. Alternatively, but not necessarily recommended for new users, it is possible to enter cost resources into the task form in the Gantt chart view. To do this, click into the next available blank row under the Resource Name column for the selected task in the task form view in the Gantt chart view. Then choose the name of the cost resource to use. However, to show the cost column, you must change the default view of the task form. To do this, right-click your mouse in the task form and select the Cost command from the pop-up menu that appears to change the view of the task form table and display the cost column. Then enter the amount to attribute to the selected cost resource into this column. Be sure to click the OK button within the task form when you have finished data entry to save the cost assignments. To switch the task form back to its default view, right-click within the task form view and then choose the Resources and Predecessors command from the pop-up menu that appears. While this may be a much faster way to enter cost assignment data for advanced users, switching views within split pane views may leave new users lost, confused, and possibly staring at the wrong data entry views when first learning how to use Microsoft Project. Therefore, new users should use the Assign Resources dialog box for cost resource assignment as it doesn't alter the view of the project when used and is often easier for new users to learn than switching the task form pane view is. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.